Mom and Dad, thank you for truly being my biggest supporters. You are the people who pushed me when no one else was there to push me, and the people that fought for me when I was alone. Dad, thank you for coaching me since I was so little. That's a bond I'm so blessed that we had to have my whole life, and I'm truly thankful that you've been my coach through all my ups and downs in almost every sport I've played. I was super excited when you were invited to, put, to coach at Bloomingdale, and I was truly blessed that you got to coach me for three out of the four years of my high school. Mom, thank you for always being at my games and truly supporting me no matter what night of the week and even bringing me things I may have forgotten along the way. I like to thank my parents for everything that they've done for me. They have always encouraged me and pushed me to do better. They have raised me so well and I'm so thankful for them. You worth more than just a text message when a nighttime fall. Whole lot of friends that barely pick up and answer your calls. Had to learn a life lesson from the hurt that it caused. But you didn't let it get you down or push away what you saw. Cause you're somebody's daughter. Super flawless and strong enough to get through any problem. God got you, saw all them battles. He already fought them. Brand new chapters and new beginnings. Cleaning out your closet. Cause see, she's somebody's daughter. She's somebody's everything. She's somebody's little girl, even if she's grown up and moved away. She's somebody's whole world. She's somebody's baby. And if you don't treat her right, hers won't be the only heart you'll break. I want to thank my mom and my dad for being my number one supporters. You sacrificed so much for me. You've always taught me to be strong and be confident in who I am. If it wasn't for you guys, I would have been the woman I am today, and I love you guys so much. Say thank you to my mom for always believing in me and um, sacrificing her time and money in order for me to do something that I love. Thank you to my mom. Thank you for always pushing me and sacrificing your time to give me the opportunity to be who I am today. Thank you for believing in me when I didn't even believe in myself. She's somebody's daughter. like to thank Miss Dawn like um words can't express how much I thank you for everything you've done like from feeding us whenever we need to be fed from taking me home when I needed a ride and from taking me to places that I need to be like you are a huge part of my success and whenever I needed anything like I you're just the person that I can always come to for everything and you are if you don't know it or not you are a huge reason why like this Bloomingdale program is where it's at the moment like you make us feel like we're more than just players and you treat us like young ladies from knowing you since like the seventh grade and so now that I'm a senior in high school like you've done so much for me and you are I feel like you're a huge part of my success and my happiness is at its peak right now. And I, you're a huge part of that. And you've done more than I can ask for. And you don't have to do it, but you choose to do it. And you will be, you will be blessed. All the things that you do for us, they will, they were all, they're all going to be given back to you in some way. Like you, you, what you do is going to be in return for you, if that makes sense. So yeah, thank you so much. What makes this group so unique is that they came in uh, right away and kind of changed the culture, the, the way we worked. Um, 
the, their work ethic uh, is unmatched. Uh, I've had groups where we have a kid or two that works really hard, but this entire group put basketball at the top of their priority and, 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 and wanted to get better. And they changed the culture, the way that we um, were united as a group. Um, they had that ability to bring bring the team together. Um, they were close as it was, and um, and so uh, I, I think everybody had to get on board with that working hard, that mentality, that working together. Um, and I just hope that continues. I think it will. They've set the the foundation for that. My favorite coach memory. <laughs> okay, uh, this was after the first time we played plant. You know, we all happy and we won. I was waiting for Coach Bauer to come back in the locker room. This man come in just throwing water and scream. I was like, oh my gosh, I never seen this man ever act like that. So that was crazy. I was like, I was glad that we were able to win that game because I was like, dang, that must mean a lot to him. So that was definitely one of my favorite memories of him. He had the biggest smile on his face. I have never seen him act that way, like a kid in a candy store. It was just such an amazing moment because I've always seen him angry and mad. And for me, that's the first time that that ever happened. I was just, it just was a shock. It was just such an amazing experience. My favorite memory of Coach Bauer is my freshman year. I missed the game winning shot. The next morning, he came up to me and told me he trusted me to take the next shot for a next game winning shot. That showed that he instilled faith in me and he fully trust me for the next shot. So my favorite memory of Coach Bauer was when we won the plant game. And, you know, just looking back, him coming into the room with the excitement, jumping up and down just brought energy. And it just gave us all this, like, idea that we did it. We did it all together. My favorite memory of Coach would have to be after we won against Plant for the first time and he came into the locker room and he just started jumping and screaming because he was so excited. Today is January 7th and I have to say at this point my favorite memory is February 24th of last year where we played in a state final four which was the first time in school history. So much went into that, years, and, and so just, you know, seeing the results of all that hard work and being on that stage, being treated the way we were from the student body here at Bloomingdale, the faculty, uh, the community, um, you know, the recognition of all that hard work that these young ladies put in. Um, it really made me feel good about, uh, for them, uh, because they deserved it. Uh, I hope that they look back on those times and, uh, and, and really look back with a smile on their face even though the, the outcome wasn't what we wanted. Uh, but again, hopefully you're watching this and we have created better memories. And, uh, but whatever happens uh, between now and the time we watch this, um, you know, there's a lot of things that they can't take from us. You know, there, there's too many memories to name, but the, that, that day was pretty special. Uh, my favorite memory uh, this was probably one of the hardest questions for me to answer is because there was countless uh, favorable memories that I had. But if I had to pick one, I think this was like one of the best nights of my life. It was, <laughs> we were um, on the homecoming bus and we were just all singing, just singing from the top of our lungs to any song in the book. And I was just, I was in that moment, I was like, dang, I'm gonna miss this. Like, I don't think I'm gonna get another night back like this. So that was one of my favorite memories for sure. My favorite memory of the team would have to be winning districts and regionals because we had made history. It was the first time in 27 years we have won districts. And that was honestly such an amazing feeling all around. Going into the locker room, everybody was jumping up and down, throwing water bottles. It was such an amazing experience. And we were the first ever in Bloomingdale history to win regionals. We were beyond excited and filled with emotions, jumping up and down, throwing water, dragging each other on the floor and crying. It was just amazing. My favorite memory of the team is after we won districts, we all went to the senior's house last year and had a team sleepover. We truly bonded and got to finish the rest of our season on a good note. My favorite memory of the team, actually last year was like, we, we'd sing this song in any event, we, we were at a Bruno Mars song. It's just amazing, like we would all come together, laugh, smile, and it just gave me, it was just the happiest, you know, memory I could ever think about, you know? 
My favorite memory of the team would honestly have to be anytime we have music because we're all just so hype and just singing and screaming the song. And the Britney song was on! And the Britney song was on! Oh, it's just a great time. Most emotional memory, it was we lost states in the first round and you know, it takes a while for the coaches to come back in the locker room. So um, Coach Bauer had said something that was just very emotional for me and I feel like will stick with me for a, a long time. And he said, thank you, but sorry. That was emotional for me because I never had a coach put so much effort in and still feel like they could have done more. And we made history that, that year, like we won districts, we won regionals, like we made it to states. We were the first ones to do that and, and for him to f still feel like he could have done more was just really like emotional for me. I don't know why it just wasn't. Even though we won districts that year, it kind of felt like it was my first time winning districts because at my previous school, I won two districts. And when I won it here, it just felt special because I know how hard he's been working. Like when he first started off here, like they weren't the best team. And now we can kind of say that we run the 813. <laughs> Me and my team have worked so hard throughout the season and we just had won districts. And now we're fighting for a spot to win regionals and go to states. And just in the start of the regional game, I went up for a layup and my knee popped and I wasn't able to play the rest of the game. I became extremely emotional because I wanted to be there for my team every step of the way. I later found out that I tore my ACL. I went from being an impact on the court to having to figure out how to be an impact off the court as well and watching from the sidelines. It was very emotional for me. My most emotional memory is after we lost states, we were all outside in the parking lot and we truly got to reflect on our season and just hang out. Even though we lost, we got to truly reflect on what we did this year. Most emotional memory was when we won districts. You know, all that hard work and dedication was a success, you know? Um, we broke history and I'm just proud to call myself a bull. My most emotional memory would have to be after we run regionals and we were finding out we're going to states. It was just, I was so excited because all our hard work just paid off and we finally like made it and stuff. So it was really good. I want to say thank you, Coach West, for always helping me to improve my game, even from like the smallest details that I still use to this day. I want to thank Coach White for always having my back whenever I don't have a mouthpiece and always motivating me at halftime whenever the first half didn't go so well and just always being that mother figure that we kind of need on the team. And even Coach West for looking out for me like I was one of his own. Even praying with me when I felt discouraged through a game and I was afraid. And making sure I got to every single game okay. Coach White, thank you for always being there for us and always being the fun spirit on the bench and in practice. You truly are so fun to be around and it made the past four years so much fun. Can't wait to come back and visit you and hopefully Coach Ed Burns with you again. I want to thank Coach White and Coach Wes for supporting us, sacrificing so much for us girls and being amazing mentors. From the bottom of my heart, I truly, really am happy that you guys are here. My thank you to Coach Wes. Thank you for always making sure my post moves are on point. You were one of my first coaches at Upward and I'm so grateful that you can be one of my coaches when I'm finishing high school. My thank you to Coach White. Thank you so much for every single time I get in my head during the games for giving me amazing pep talks to get me fired up during the games. You have made an incredible impact on me. Thank you, Coach Bauer, for everything. Like, when I came here, obviously my junior year, and I'm a senior, it felt like you accepted me as if I've been here for all four years. Thank you for showing us a different side of you and being a man in your words. You taught me how not only to be a better player, but person and treating us like we're more than just your players. You sacrificed so much for this team in order for us to be great. So on my part, I will sacrifice my time, my body, my sleep and my fear until I can help to my best ability to get the job done, which is win districts, regionals, and states in which you all deserve. And lastly, Oh, despite our flaws as a team, like both my juniors and senior year, I wouldn't trade this team for the world. Thank you for allowing me to have the best chapter of my life. So to Aisha, uh, I remember meeting her for the very first time and, and, 
and getting to know her has been such a joy. Uh, she's so passionate about everything that she does. Um, it, it has made me want to work harder, um, but just seeing her drive to get better, um, seeing how she gets along with everybody and, and, and she's just one of those, those people that when she walks into a gym, you can't help but smile um, and go say hello, how are you doing? And, and uh, it's been a joy to get to know her. She cares so much about her craft, uh, cares so much about her teammates, and uh, you know I'm really gonna miss that. And you know I I've enjoyed getting to know her, and um, can't wait to see what what she's doing um, in 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 the future. Um, I hope she knows that I appreciate that, um, and, and that uh, you know that that meant a lot to me for a kid who um, you know moves in and gets into a different situation to be able to, to uh, fit right in so quickly and, and, and work so hard and, and care so much about it. Uh, that just, you know, really is important to me and, and I appreciate that so much. I would like to thank Coach Bauer for being such an encouraging coach and very patient, willing to help me with my weaknesses and seeing all my strengths. When times were tough, he would always remind me of what success looked like. Not straight, but a squiggly line. Uh, to Melody, it has been uh, quite a four years. Um, she is someone who is one of the biggest competitors uh, I have ever coached. Um, hardest worker, just uh, gets after it. And, you know, we see that on the court uh, in games and, uh, you know, we see it every day in practice. Uh, someone who is gonna fight uh, to the end, is going to do whatever it takes and um, you know, just hates to lose. Um, you know, and of course, with her injury last year, um, you know, we we saw her struggle to not be there with us uh, on the court uh, those last the last game, and uh, you know, that was something that really uh, was hard for me because I know. Um, you know how much she meant to us and us getting there but that started freshman year that was something that she you know th that hasn't changed her 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 that that fight in her that ability to um, give everything she's got and so she did that in getting back as well so um, it's it's been uh, a pleasure to to be able to see her compete again out there and get back on the court um, and she's you know getting to that level, that old melody. And, um, and it's, uh, you know, it just, it has made me smile. I feel so happy for her that she has been able to get back uh, out there and compete with us and, and hopefully get us back to where we were and get us over the, the, over the, the top there into that next step. So um, I hope she knows that I appreciate all of her work that she has put in um, and uh, I appreciate uh, that she is a tremendous uh, young lady, uh, a great teammate, and um, you know, I, again, I just I can't wait to see what she does in the future, um, and I hope uh, to you know remain close with her and 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 uh, you know root for her uh, as she moves on. But gonna miss number twelve. To Coach Bauer, thank you for always pushing me and believing in me and trying to make me the best I could be. We've had ups and downs, but so many more ups than we had downs, and for that, I'm truly thankful. Thank you for making me have a better focus and attitude on the court. You made six days a week for four to five months truly and honestly fun. For four years, you made so many memories with me that I'll truly cherish into my adult years. To Ava, um, I am so thankful to have been your coach for the last four years. Uh, you are somebody who um, is has become uh, an extension of me on the court. Somebody who um, is a true leader. Uh, you know how to lead people. Uh, you know how to communicate with me and and help me be a better coach. Uh, it's it's so much fun to have that connection where um, oftentimes it's we're thinking the same things. Um, oftentimes she's thinking things that are better ideas than what I have. So uh, I have leaned on her and, and 
Um, you know, I trust her uh, so much when she's out there and in and, and, and being a leader uh, in, in helping us be in a better position to win games. Um, and, uh, you know, at times it's, it can, we can butt heads, we can, we can disagree, but in the end we can, um, you know, come together and agree on what is best for the team. And um, I think that has been, a, for me, a really fun thing, a, a great relationship, that player coach where, um, you know, it's, it's trying to do whatever's best for us. Um, and we both have those same goals, I believe, in, 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 in doing those things for the team. Um, and, and Ava is a, a tremendous kid who um, is, again, one of those kids that when she comes into the room, you know, you can't help but smile, you can't help but say hello, how are you, and, and, and um, you know, you want to be around kids like her. Um, she's gonna be successful in whatever she does. I uh, can't wait to cheer her on uh, as she moves forward um, in her collegiate uh, studies and hopefully basketball career. Um, you know, I'll be right there cheering her on um, and, and definitely gonna miss Miss Ava, thank you so much for everything you've done. I hope you realize that um, although I didn't always tell you um, that I needed you out there, um, I needed you uh, to help me be a better coach and, and to uh, help us be a better team, uh, and you will be missed. I also want to thank Coach Bauer. For the past four years of you being my coach, it's just been an amazing ride. you taught me to work hard, never give up, and always have that next play mentality. Thank you so much. To Alesa, um, who does not take plays off, does not take anything for granted. Uh, Alesa, you are somebody who, who has one speed, has one, one gear, and that's 100%. It's everything you've got, every play. Um, you never complained, you never asked for more playing time, and when you got it, you took it and ran with it. And you did that on the biggest stage. Um, and you are also so passionate about um, just competing, just being out there. Um, and uh, I don't, I did not take that for granted. Like, I appreciated that you showed up and I knew what we were gonna get from you. Um, and I think everybody else did too. Um, you know, I hope that you realize that I appreciate that because there are so many people who play this game, who, um, who uh, you know, come through this campus, play this sport, and, and they might take a day off. They might take a minute off, and, and you never did that, and, and that's rare. Uh, and I know I, I appreciated that. I know your teammates did. Um, you were, uh, you were my favorite, and you always will be, and and you know that. Um, I say this because, and and we have favorites, and they are uh, they are the ones who are coachable, work hard. Uh, you can count on them. You can trust them. Um, and I meant that when I told you that your freshman year, um, and you always will be, and and you you should uh, want to be the next person's favorite wherever you go, um, and I know you will be. Um, I look forward to hearing all the great things you're doing. Um, we'll definitely miss your energy um, and your passion, and I wish you the best of luck. My thank you to Coach Bauer is thank you for always believing in me and never giving up on me. You have been a father figure to me for four years now, and I'm so grateful to have you as my coach. To Kirsten, um, Kirsten, I've known you uh, since you came to our camps uh, as a middle schooler and uh, and you stood out then and you stand out now you are somebody who um, again you have that in infectious smile you can walk into a gym and uh, brighten the gym up and 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 make us uh, make me excited to to go to work today and it's uh it's 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 gone by really quick and i i feel like you're you know i still remember those days at our camp um and uh i can't believe you know you're graduating and moving on from bloomingdale um but you have done so much for this program 
you have done so much for me. I have uh, greatly appreciated the relationship that we have built. Um, I hope you feel the same way because I truly care about you um, and I want what's best for you. Uh, I have a lot of great memories um, coaching you. Um, you are somebody who helped turn this thing around, turn our program around and um, make it what it is today. And uh, I hope our younger players realize that and, and they want to emulate your work ethic and your love for the game. Uh, I hope that you are able to realize that uh, I care so much about you and um, I want what's best for you. And uh, I'm excited about your future. Um, I think you are gonna do great things. Um, you're gonna continue to excel in whatever you do. Um, and I can't wait to hear about those things. Uh, I, I really appreciate everything you've given to this, this school, this program, uh, to me. Uh, it's so appreciated. Um, and thank you so much. Uh, best of luck, Kirsten. Thank you message to my seniors. You girls have been with me for years now and I'm so grateful that we all get to finish high school together and I'm very happy that I met every single one of you. I love each and every one of you. You guys are my family. I couldn't have asked for a better group to graduate with and I'm so happy that I get to finish this out with you. I'm so unbelievably grateful that I met every single one of you and had the opportunity to play with each of you. Bulls up. To my fellow seniors, these past four years have been amazing. You've each and every one of you taught me to be better in myself. The laughing, jokes, and memories I will cherish forever. Not only do I call you my teammates, but I call you my sisters. I love you guys so much. Seniors, wow, we are actually here. Thank you guys for being the people I can always count on no matter the situation. To the three seniors that have been there from the start. We went from getting braces, to getting our license, to getting cars, and now we're graduating with our own diplomas. We truly grew together. Crazy to think we were all just 14 year olds, little babies walking into big high school, and now we're 18, we're about to be 18 years old graduating together. Thank you all for the best four years of my life. Go Bulls. Aisha, it is so hard for me to say something about you because you are my sister. We have been through so much together, everything almost. I'm so glad you came to Bloomingdale. You always push me to do better in everything. Your work ethic is unmatched. I love how competitive you are. You don't like to lose, you're just like me. And you always have such great energy on and off the court. I love being your best friend, sister, and teammate. And Aisha, it's crazy to me that you just came to our team last year. It truly feels like you've been a part of this team since the start, and for that, I'm truly blessed. Aisha, your jokes, your personality, and your confidence has taught me so much and to keep going in life and do what you love and want to achieve. Aisha, you are such an inspiration to everybody and I look up to you. Every single time you touch the ball, it amazes me. Thank you, Melody, for pushing me to become a better player in person. Without you, I honestly don't think I would have been here at Bloomingdale. You are a huge part of my success and happiness and I am truly blessed to have you as a best friend. Melody, you are such an incredible person. You bring joy to everyone on and off the court and even after everything that's happened with your knee, you came back better than ever and I'm so proud of you. Mo, your injury has really made an impact on me the way you fought and came back. It's taught me to be better, not just as a student here at Bloomingdale, but as a player on the court and as a better teammate. And I love you for that. Ava, I am so happy that I met you and you're such an incredible person. When we started playing basketball together, we were three years old and I'm so happy that we could just continue to play basketball together when we're ending at 18. And I'm so happy that you were my teammate. Thank you, Ava, for being a great leader and captain for the team. And thank you for always being able to have great composure when we're going through tough times. Ava, I'm so happy I'm ending my senior season with you knowing the journey we've been on. We have known each other since upward in the seventh grade. And walking in freshman year together and walking out senior year together makes us so much more special. I love you like a sister. Ava, I know we don't see eye to eye all the time, but your leadership and confidence has taught me so much in life, and I will never forget that. I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Alisa, for always being there for me when I need somebody to talk to. I mean, about anything. Like, it could be about, like, 
my teeth hurting and like how the way I brushed my teeth last night and you'll just come back with like a thousand words so and I just <laughs> and I, even though I say that you talk a lot like I wouldn't trade your presence for the world Alisa oh my gosh where do I start with you there is so much to say about you you are truly and honestly so amazing you always bring such a great, intense energy on the court. You always go die for loose balls. And you're always on the floor. You're the definition of a dog on the court. You honestly light up a room when you walk in. Don't ever change for anybody because you are unapologetically you. And that's what makes you so amazing. Alisa, I'm going to miss your energy on and off the court. You're such an amazing person and I'm so happy that I got to play with you. Thank you, Kirsten, for being my shack since the seventh grade <laughs> and always giving me chicken wraps after school and middle school. And you're just always, you're so kind hearted and you're always making sure that I have what I need. And I really do appreciate you for that. Kirsten, you're literally the nicest person I know on and off the court. When you're not nice on the court, that's when you play your best. And I love watching you play in that mode. I love watching you play hard. I can't wait to see what's next with you. And I'm so glad to be on this journey with you. Kirsten, these past years of high school with you has been the best years of my life. You're like a sister to me. As much as we fight and go on and on, but we come back. And I'm so happy to be your teammate. I love you so much. A piece of advice that I would give to the girls is without struggle, there is no progress. And because we've, you know, even though we did win districts and regionals last year, I mean, we had so many ups and downs. And I feel like you can't learn anything mentally and physically if you're not struggling. So that is a piece of advice that I would give for the girls before I leave. A piece of advice I would love to leave my teammates is always push through no matter what. No matter how big the obstacle is, you can always achieve it. Advice I have for my team is do what you love. Never give up regardless of who tells you otherwise. Dreams and goals are made to be achieved. My advice to the team would have to be always keep your head up, do the unexpected, and believe in yourself and never give up. I want the team to remember me as someone that can just lighten up the mood or like someone that they can come to and talk to about anything if they're going through anything. I would hope my team would remember me as, as the one who inspired them. The girl who went hard on every play. Encouraged every player on their team and found ways to build them up. I would also want them to remember me as the one who had strong faith. Who liked to pray before every game and stay positive, even through tough times, and she would use it as a way to come back stronger. I want to remember by my calmness I created onto the court and the calmness I instilled on in other people um, in most stressful situations and how I would stay positive. I want the team to not only remember me by the aggressive one, but also remember me by the one who brought energy off and on the court and did her job with a positive mindset. I want the team to remember me by being a person you can come to for anything and I'll always be a shoulder to lean on even after this point and I'll just be like one phone call away.
So my message to our underclassmen um, is to hopefully understand what has gone into creating what we have here at Bloomingdale. Uh, our program especially, it's, it's, and it's not necessarily about the wins and losses, it's, it's the work that we put in, it's the, uh, the closeness of the group, uh, it's having each other's back, uh, giving everything we've got, you know, doing things the right way. Uh, these five seniors have, have been a big part of creating that culture um, and, and the hard part is keeping it going uh, and that falls on, on the rest of our underclassmen. So uh, we should want to keep it going and, and, and grow what we have done, like improve on what we have done. So uh, the work is not done. Uh, the, these five young ladies are, are gonna go on and do great things. Um, and we, we owe it to them to, to keep things going around here uh, and, to, um, and to hopefully even do greater things. So, you know, I'm gonna do that and I hope you all do as well. But sometimes I like knowing I can't fix it because then it's like, well, uh -huh. you screw up, you screw up. Oh All right, God, I'm ready. Amazing. I'm ready, guys. All right. Okay. Ready. Natural face. Wait, I go right now? Mm -hmm. Oh! I'm so scared. We were able to have a day where it was Sorry. Ava, I'm so happy that I met you and I'm so happy that, wait, one second. How about we don't say I th I've been saying that this whole time. <laughs> Run back the bloopers. My most emotional memory for the team, wait, <laughs> sorry. My advice for the team would have to be, keep your, oh. My advice for the team would have to be, my advice for the team would have to be, always keep your head up and do the unexpected, believe in yourself. That's not it. I'm so happy I'm ending my senior season with you, knowing the journey. Germ my advice for the team would have to be always keep your head up, do the unexpected, believe in yourself. Uh, what in the? My favorite memory would have to be beating Plant. Oh. Okay. And he had the biggest smile on his. Oh. And he had his. Uh, and he had the biggest smile on his face. Oh wait, can I repeat that? Yes. Okay. 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 So I have never seen. Wait, did I already say act that way? Did I move up and down? Is that bad? Yeah. It will. Yeah. Hold up. I think I said that again. <sighs> Should I repeat the whole thing? Guys, shush. We can hear you. <laughs> I never obviously had a coach that put so much effort in in order for us to make, in order for us to, okay, okay sorry. In girls basketball, Bloomingdale history, have a, haven't, oh my God. So no, um, huh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> You're fine. All right. We were the first ones to do that, like, no, no, no. <laughs> I can't see what's next with, wait, I can't see, okay. So I was asked what was my, what was one of my favorite memorable, mem oh my God. <laughs> that, oh my gosh, uh, Wait, where did, wait, dude, where did I stop off at? Like, where can I? Uh, 
To be honest, I was not listening to your details. <laughs> My favorite. Oh, I said. Okay. 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 My most emotional memory of the all my high school is when we went, oh, I want to be remembered. But, oh. Don't, don't look down there. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I have to redo it. Oh, I keep forgetting. I just want to, oh. okay. I became extremely emotional because I wasn't, bleh. You've been through with me through the whole. Ugh, I'm gonna come blah, 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 blah. Okay, one second. Wait. Okay, I don't want to say this. Should I say too much? Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I, I, I just can't, can't, uh, can't think right now. <laughs> <laughs> I would also want them to remember me as the one who had strong faith, who prayed. Uh, and even Coach West for looking out for me, like I, oh, I also want to. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. All right. To my fellow seniors. Oh, sorry. Hold up. Mom, thank you for always being there in the stands and truly supporting me no matter what. Oh, I'm gonna do that again. Mom, thank you for truly. Oh, can't even talk to my own mother. <laughs> A, I. Oh, I'm so sorry. My advice for the team would have to be no. <laughs> my thank you to my mom. Thank you for always. Wow, that was just great. Okay. You have been with me since we've started playing basketball. Okay. That's good. Uh, I hope that. I hope I did good. <laughs> like literally. Oh my god. It's well signing out. Let's go. I need the singers.